Alright guys, how's it going? So last night, I kinda faced a problem. I had to subdivide a plane and have a certain number of faces. Now I could have done this using subdivide but it kinda got a little bit complicated. Now I'm going to show you how you can add extra objects just by enabling the add-on and I'll probably jump into fur yeah, just to kinda fill out the tutorial a little bit. So in traditional fashion, I'll delete the cube. I'll come to preferences and I'll search for extra. Now, a lot of users know about these, but if you're new to Blender, I highly recommend that you enable it. You have two options, you have Add Curve, Extra Objects, and you have Add Mesh, Extra Objects. And these are essentially what they say on the tin, they're extra objects. So if I go to Add, go to Mesh, you'll see here I have a few different things like a rock generator, a single vert, that comes in really handy as well. You can do things like math functions, pipes, and also if you go to curve, you can see here we have a whole bunch of new curves. So I highly recommend you install this, it just gives you a little bit more flexibility. Anyway, the one that I was interested in was the grid. And the reason for this is I can actually up the subdivisions. So if I press Z to go into wireframe, so I needed 125 faces by 125. So it kind of seems strange, but I'm going to type in 126, because you're technically always one behind. Now, just to double check this, I'll tab into edit mode. Now, excuse the kind of bug that's going on here at the moment, and I'll enable statistics. I'll press 7 to go into top view, and I'll just grab a whole bunch of faces here. And you can see here, I have 125. And obviously, because it's cubed, it'll be 125 by 125. So just to add in a little bit of filler, I'll quickly jump back into layout, I'll select the object, let's put solid mode on, and this is the reason I was doing this, so if I actually go to the particle mode, I'll add in a bunch of particles, and I'll add in the hair. Now, they're huge, so I'm actually going to put the hair length down to maybe 0 0.2, that should be fine. And I wanted to generate one hair per face, so you can see here on the source, I'm generating from the faces, and I'm going to put the number up, so I'm going to put this to 15625, which seems quite a lot. And that essentially means I'm actually generating a hair per face. Now we can take off random order, and we'll leave on even distribution. Now one thing I could do here, is I could actually enable children and leave it on interpolated, and that will give me even more fur. Now one of the users was asking, how do you texture fur? It's pretty simple. Uh, let's say for example, I've selected the grid, I'll quickly jump into the shading tab, let me join these areas together, I'll assign a new material, and all you need to do here is an image texture. Now, this is already UV'd, so it's kind of cheating to be honest. I'll go to desktop, and I'll just select an image, and I'll just plug this into the base colour, and that means I'm essentially using the base colour, and that'll texture each of these four. Anyway, I only really wanted to show you the extra objects. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do.